Now, this is a healing of uh, a gentleman who in his 40s or so, and um, he finds out that his um, father had passed away and uh, hadn't seen his father uh, in, and been in his father's house in, in many years. They had a falling out a long time ago. And this was a difficult relationship between the father and son. Um, so, you know, the, the son uh, has to clean out the father's house. Now the father has passed away. And so, you know, besides the, the feeling of not, you know, a, a, another thing to do in your life when your life is already maxed out, you know, you don't have a lot of energy and now you got to go to another state and, and deal with um, the estate of your, uh, of your deceased father who you already have difficult feelings about um, is or, already, you know, obviously going to be an enormous strain uh, on your physical and emotional being. So um, the, the other dimension of, um, of this uh, healing was the alcoholic uh, spirit dimension because the father was an alcoholic and that's obviously one of the reasons that uh, my, my client didn't want to speak to him, you know, got out of touch with him, you know, and, and all of his problems, all, all of the uh, emotional problems that my client had, a lot of them came from, you know, the abuse psychologically mostly uh, abuse that he got from his alcoholic father. So, and and my client was, you know, dead set against alcohol and really just bowed it off, wrote it off, you know, never wanted to be like his father and never wanted to treat his kids like his father treated him because he was an alcoholic. So, so my client really was squeaky clean in terms of uh, substance abuse. So what happened basically was uh, my client uh, had obviously to spend a lot of time in his deceased father's house to, to get everything, get everything in order, clean everything out, organize, blah, blah, blah. Um, and without really understanding it, obviously at the time, you know, he really wasn't psychic, wasn't able to perceive spirits or anything like that. But basically within... A f within a few days of him starting to clean out his father's house, he started drinking alcohol. My client started drinking alcohol when he, he was a total, uh, totally against it, you know, before he entered to his father's house. And, and then in, in, the, in the coming year, he, event he became a complete alcoholic himself. And this lasted a good decade before he finally went into AA and got himself sober again. Um, but, uh, when I was doing the healing, now this person came to me many years later after becoming sober, you know, through the AA and this person still had a lot of emotional, my client still had a lot of emotional issues, uh, really wasn't connecting to people, really wasn't moving ahead in his business, a lot of blocks and a lot of sort of depression and a lot of weird kind of neurotic uh, mannerisms uh, in communication to sort of push you away. So um, basically in the very first healing that I did on him, what I saw was just unbelievable. It was, uh, it blew my mind. I've seen a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things in the healings that I've done over the years. And what, here's what I found. I found about 14 alcohol spirits you know, they call alcohol spirits for a reason. They're spirits. They take you over, you know. And, and my client had 14 alcohol spirits, and they were all living at the sixth layer of my client's aura. You know, there are, there's the first layer is the physical layer, and then the emotional body, the mental body, and et cetera, et cetera, going all the way to the sixth layer. The seventh layer is the highest layer. Um, you could read my website, uh, AuraHealingByPhone.com, uh, 
and to, to read more about the different layers and the chakras and all that. I'm not going to go into it here, but basically they had camped out. They had squatted. They had taken over my client's aura completely at the sixth layer. They were all camping out up there, having a great party at the expense of my client. And my client, basically uh, all the weird mannerisms, all the depression, all the antisocial uh, dimensions, the, the tiredness, the failures, you know, etc., etc., all came from this, this raucous, irreverent, crazy, uh, alcoholic party that these 14 spirits were having all the way up in the, in the treehouse, <laughs> the six layer treehouse of my, of my client's aura. And it was just unbelievable. They were just weird. They were really, really weird spirits. So, so basically the healing was just pulling them out pulling these spirits out of my client and uh, it was pretty dramatic. Some of them were pretty strong and put up a little, put up a little or a lot uh, of a struggle of a fight um, before I, you know, <laughs> sort of uh, <laughs> booted them up, booted them back to the, to, to uh, the universe. And they're going to, they're going to have to probably go back to some kind of bar somewhere and, 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 and find a, uh, uh, Another victim who's uh, drinking and who's open to uh, commiserating and allowing these raucous spirits to come into their bodies. So, but this this client came to me. I pulled those spirits out, and it's been pretty amazing since then. Really, I mean, uh, 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 very soon we did a number of more healings. Still doing healings with this client, but uh, very soon uh, the client started noticing um, a number of of uh, shifts. Uh, less fearful, less paranoid, less defensive, uh, less um, defeatist, less tired, um, more positive, looking great. Uh, this client had, you know, bags under their eyes and, and just had kind of this, this look about them, this, you know, from the shadows kind of look. But now the client's face is really smooth and, you know, looking really, really good. So... Uh, this is an example of um, the power of, of alcohol spirits and um, what they can do, with how they can take you over and uh, live inside you, feed off you, parasite off you, um, live off your blood, live off your food supply, live in your intestines, uh, live in your nervous system, live in your brain. I mean, we're, you know, the, the body maintains a beautiful... <laughs> 98 something degree heat and uh it's a nice warm house to live in and and there's food coming in all the time and you know uh, if, if spirit can get in uh, some kind of entity can get in to your aura you know um you know it, it it and it can't be discovered it can't be booted out by the the person's uh uh immune system you know um white blood cells defense systems, you know, if it gets in there and, and figures out how to hide, it's got a place to live. And um, that's just the way it happens. Uh, you know, another in another uh, video, maybe I'll go into more detail about, uh, you know, the, the phenomenon of entities and, um, you know, uh, how the body deals with that. But in this particular healing, I think I just wanted to focus on, you know, how alcohol spirits really can take you over. Um, also, the, you know, obviously, um, I, I was able to get them out and, uh, and good results occurred. So there's hope. All righty.